Last summer, a painting was put on exhibition at some trendy gallery in London. It was John Birkenstroud's untitled oil on canvas painting that took the art world by its poncy little ankles and slapped it silly. Critics and gallery visitors alike did not know how to react. Reports say some people were so shocked that they had heart attacks, panic attacks, seizures and some even died. As the body count and people's anger at the painting rose, the gallery had to be shut down and the painting removed, never to be shown to the public again. Now, I want to investigate what it was about Birkenshaw's work that caused this mayhem among the art crowd and sent Birkenshaw from being a world famous artist to being just a silly little hermit in a silly little hat. Like, that painting has changed me. To be honest, I, I didn't really know what I was looking at. I told him, John, you are not going to put that, that uh, painting in that gallery. Birkenshaw's latest painting was unveiled this morning and the small amount of people that did get to see it seemed to be very annoyed. So, so it's the content of the painting that's irritating people? Indeed, I've not managed to see the painting myself though due to the gallery owner locking up. Neither the news on the TV or the newspapers could tell us much about John's work. I tried to get in contact with him but he didn't want to talk. Instead, I tried to contact people that knew him and some people that were there on the day of the unveiling, see if they could shed some light on the subject. Um, I, did, I told him not to not to put that painting into the exhibition, but did he listen to me? Oh no! And we had to we had to do it John's way. John was the artist. It was John's bit of art. It was John's exhibition. I was the only one brave enough to go into the room where Birkenstraub's work was. Yeah, I did. I did go to the gallery on. Uh on the opening, on the opening day, um, and I was, I was with a few women there actually, and the women did, uh, have heart attacks, all of them, because of John's painting. Nothing could prepare me, I mean nothing, literally, walk round the bend, next thing I know I'm in a hospital bed. I fainted. My heart went out for John on that day. Because I knew a lot of work had gone into that exhibition, especially that one painting that uh, that was all over the tabloids, and uh, my heart did go out to him. No, a lot of work went in, and for it to be closed down just like that, just from a few, a few uh, people being annoyed, fucking pisses me off. Fucking put in the bin, in the bin. Get the wheelie bin in and chuck it, do you know what I mean? There seems to be mixed views on Birkenstrau's work. Some were very shocked, others not so shocked, and some people weren't shocked at all. But still, I wanted to find out what people really thought about Birkenstrau's work. Was it really that bad? I can't say whether I do or do not like his paintings because I, I cannot remember seeing them because of my fatal accident. Shocked? No, no, I wasn't shocked. Um, I was more shocked that other people were shocked. He really freaked me out, actually. Uh, I found him incredibly uh, creepy. Yeah, I'm, I'm up for anything. I mean, half a cow. Yeah, all right. I'll go look at that. I'll be like, yeah, cool, mate. Look at him now. He's gone mad. He has. Was Birkenstrad mad? Had he always been mad? Or was he not mad at all? These were questions that were going round in my head. I wanted to know what Birkenstrad was like before and what he was like after painting the picture. Still, I carried on sailing across the ocean of questions until, one day, I would find an answer. Well, stay away, yeah? I don't want you filming. <laughs> 